about what they were going to find. I think there, you know, it does raise concern as far as if, if uh, cause there's been a lot of hope, even though there really wasn't revenue, as much revenue from the oil tied to it, there was usually the drilling activity that we were interested in. So well, I think in the short term, the biggest impact is the loss of jobs and investment. Big news for the Arctic, it removes a major threat to the wildlife uh, in the area, which are already suffering from climate change happening at twice the rate uh, of the rest of the world. 2007 held the record for the most dramatic Arctic ice melt ever recorded until this past hot summer, when that record fell by an area the size of Texas. While many see this warming trend as part of a planetary disaster, others are more interested in the massive oil reserves now opening up in the Arctic Circle. But another thing they pointed out that kind of caught our interest was they mentioned regulatory changes. Yeah. What are they referring to there? Well, the Obama administration actually got a lot of criticism from environmentalists for approving this project. With this rig, Russia is about to achieve a world first. It will become the only country producing oil in Arctic waters. Mrs. Clinton seemed to have forgotten about the harmful effects of climate change. There are other issues at stake. The melting of sea ice, for example, will result in more shipping, fishing, and tourism, and the possibility to develop newly accessible oil and gas reserves. Twenty fifteen has been another remarkable year for renewable energy. Not only has for the first time the percentage of total gigawatts installed in the world now exceeded in terms of renewable energy installations that of all other energy technologies put together. That's the transition away from fossil and nuclear fuels over to renewables. Uh, we're not asking for something really extraordinary. We're suggesting that the developed nations of the world with good research and uh, scientists should get together and solve the remaining problems in gathering, storing and transmitting energy which you derive from the sun, from non-polluting sources. The question would always be, does it cost more than what we have today? Or how do we finance it? Or is it technically difficult? Will it change my daily routines and stuff like that? The, the problems are, are there, but they can be solved. The signs are good.